All right, folks, well, we're here to install the full rail on the practical to tactical Mossberg 520 gauge. So before I got started, I thought I'd go through what came in the packaging and uh, what we're going to do for the install. Obviously, we have the rail, and that goes basically from the receiver to a little bit past the magazine tube. Uh, they make these to work with the 20 gauge or the 12 gauge. Uh, we don't have a magazine tube extension, so it has this spacer we shall allow it to mount correctly uh, to squeeze tight onto the gun without that magazine tube extension um, we still have the the barrel from the factory on this gun we are going to an 18.5 inch security barrel but it's not in yet so uh, we'll just basically install it with the spacer uh, you have these two mounting clamps that basically act as a barrel and magazine tube clamp and they hold the the rail tight to the front of the gun uh, you have your installation screws uh, you have this steel rod which is threaded on the interior which basically you pull the the trigger pin out of the gun and use that rod as a replacement for the trigger pin and then you can bolt the the rear of the rail into it uh, we got some handy dandy loctite and uh, we're gonna give it a shot Okay, so first things first what we're going to do is we're going to push out this trigger pin and install the supplied pin that's threaded on the interior. And what that does is basically creates a mounting point for the rear of the rail onto the receiver. Uh, from what I'm reading, this really isn't a load bearing point. It's really just a stabilization point. Uh, so basically your, your clamp is what's going to take the brunt of the abuse once it's on the gun. This also gives me a, a quick chance to just talk about this rail because I know a lot of people are going to be like, why are you hanging junk on your shotgun and, and yada yada yada, but you know, obviously if, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm building this gun for my wife to, to her specs, what she's interested in seeing and what she wants on her home defense gun. Uh, we are interested in mitigating recoil a little bit, hence why we're building a 20 gauge. Uh, so really we got to looking around at rails so we could mount an optic like a little speed bead or a flashlight. And when we found this, uh, we thought it would be really cool, you know. It, it does put a little bit of weight on the front end of the gun, and that'll help her, you know, or, or so she thinks. And plus, she, she really liked it, you know. She thought it looked great, and she was interested in it. So, uh, me being the thoughtful husband that I am, I decided to go ahead and get it for her. Um, you know, I guess with that, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and start putting this thing on. So once again, the first thing we want to do is remove the trigger pin, which this should be relatively easy once everything's in place. Uh, obviously the gun is empty, and we're going to install this steel pin right behind it as we push it out. So we'll go and give that trigger pin a little push. Go ahead and insert this in, and then we should just be able to follow that pin right out. And there you go. Uh, another thing I thought I'd show you guys, you can see right here that pin that we changed out has a little bit of excess exposure going into the receiver. Uh, that's to mount these little washers, these little Delrin they feel like, washers and that keeps the end of the rail from brushing against your receiver and scratching it up. So basically what I've done at this point this is the barrel mounting clamp and this is the extension so I've taken two of the mounting clamp screws and loosely put this together so we can slide it over the barrel and still install our extension to uh, to get this on basically what, what we're looking at here is this is actually the mounting bracket that supports the rail and also holds everything tight to the barrel of the gun this is really the, the portion that's going to take the brunt of the recoil forces and not the pin in the back. It's not designed to do so. 
So we want to make sure this is uh, good and tight and on there real well. So we're going to go ahead and fit this on our barrel. Put in the, the spacer. Tighten it up just a little bit so everything holds together for us. So now that we've got everything loosely kind of fitted on, I'll go ahead and attach my spacer. Just give a little tiny dab of Loctite to the screw. We'll go ahead and repeat this on the other side. Okay, so we've already loosely put together our mounting clamp with the spacer. I'll put a little Loctite in. Basically, we have a bolt on each side. We'll slide that over the barrel and get that into where we can see. And basically we'll start one of our bolts to hold everything together while we're tightening everything down. We'll repeat the process on the other side. So now we'll go ahead and prep our bolt for this side. Get that started. Now basically for now I'm just getting these hand tight. Uh, once I have everything kind of stable I'll go in and I'll tighten the clamp onto the barrel and the magazine tube extension and uh, then I'll just cinch everything down real good. Okay so we'll just go through and give everything a last little check for tightness. We've already tightened these up. Uh, you know, for a minute there I was worried, but this is a pretty rock solid mount. It's not rattling. Doesn't make any noise. Looks pretty good. Well, let's get her off the table and uh, give her a rack or two, see how she likes that. Alright, let's see if we can make this bad boy rattle. As you can see, pretty tight. Nice. I'm digging it. 